Hi everyone, this video is covering gesture drawing of the human figure. The point of a gesture drawing is to quickly capture the figure in motion with accurate proportions and correct angles of the body. It is basically a glorified stick figure that helps us visualize the movement of the body and then build off of it. Okay. It also helps us practice accurate proportions so that we can create human figures that are the correct size. So typically a human figure is about eight heads long. Um, this, obviously this is not true for everyone, but here I actually went down and made it a little longer because I could see that he was a little short. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's still a little bit short. So typically um, human figures are eight heads long. I was just making up this pose here, um, but now we're going to take a look at um, a video I have here, Kevin Durant dunking in slow motion. I'm actually going to play the video. Those are posted for you in the school G folder and just pause it at a particular spot. And then I'm going to draw Kevin Durant body um, position in a quick gesture drawing. So I'm actually going to, on this round, use charcoal because it's a lot quicker, um, softer, and allows me to get more lines down. So here is Kevin Durant's dunking pose. Circle, oval, angle of the back, his pelvic bone, so side, rib cage, shoulders, So here he is dribbling up to the basket. Okay, because he is bent and from the side, there are certain angles that I tried to capture um, for his legs. Okay, let's do another one. Let's just do a quick standing pose. Do circle, oval, spine, shoulder angle, pelvic bone, Legs, kneecaps, feet down here. I'm going to go back and I put some circular meat on the bones. I'm going up and I'm putting a rib cage here. And I'm putting my arm. This is, let's check my proportions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and a half. So I was a little closer on this proportions. So this is just a quick standing figure. So just as a review, we do the head, spine, pelvic bone, shoulder line, angles of the legs, feet, put some meat on the bones. Then I do the arm angles, put the um, some muscle on the arms and my hands. Then I kind of go up and I do like a shoulder mark and touch up, okay? This is what you do not want to do, which I see a lot of students do. Circle, oval, and then they will make the neck. This is kind of where they go wrong. And then they will do the classic. This is focusing on the outside of the body. We are not doing any contours. We are doing the inside muscles, angles, bones, and what direction they are going. So think about the pelvic bone, think about the rib cage, think about the actual parts of your body when you're drawing. Do not focus on the contour, not this. Okay, I'm gonna have you guys do um, a couple different timed poses. 
um, cutting down on the time saying you have two minutes to draw that figure in motion it really helps speed you up and actually get you more accurate um, quick captures of motion um, for the human figure so take a couple minutes do some timed poses do the use the videos and do poses in different positions um, and then I would encourage you and challenge you to do um, some watercolor gesture drawing which is super fun okay let me know if you have any questions I'm here for you